Hello everyone, this is Xander Geron, and I am back with the first Disposable Deck Tournament. This is the second match between Lactan Forest 17 and Censored. On the, red or on the blue team we have Censored, he's using a North Korean General Deck. Yep. And on the red team we have Lactan with a Czech General Deck. Glorious Czechoslovakia. Gonna have to check out this battle. See what kind of technology we get. Anyway, yeah, here on Paddy Field. A map that I really don't like. It's probably my least favorite of all the 1v1 maps. Oh man, if you're on the Echo side, it's fine. Echo side's fine. Problem is if you're on the Delta side, in which case, no, it's awful. Anyway, I should actually do my bet here. Um, So, starting with blue, blue's best, we got Pong 2 Yeah, okay. BRDM2, T72, oh god. Uh, he's left his command of tree there. Two. So it's not doing a lot into Alpha, I'm guessing he's doing a push for Golf. Uh, let's see, we have Pong J2, Pong J2, how much are these things again? 55 points. Uh, uh, BTR 80A, I'm guessing that's, oh, uh, what do you call him? Is it Yuck Day or is it Yuck Day? I, never, I can't remember which ones are the Marines and which ones are the the Elite Infantry. Anyway, you got Shamaho 5s, a couple of those, BRDM 2s for Recon. MI4s with Junk Child Dai, whatever they're called. Okay. Not sure what he hopes to do with that. Uh, type 80. Okay. Another Type 80, Pong J2. And more BTR 80s. I guess he's really paranoid about planes and helicopters. Because we spend a lot of points on AA. And he's really not in a great position to be pushing golf. Uh, but let, let's just see what Lactan's doing. OT64C, I'm guessing that's a Vizicati or whatever. The the wheeled moat shoots in that, uh, or the airborne moat shoots and whatever you want to call them, that Czechoslovakia has. I think that's one of the big things that annoys me about Eastern Bloc is that the primary shock infantry for all three of the nations are basically the same guys. You have Moat shoots in, uh, whatever the Polish ones are called in Vizicati for Czechoslovakia. They're all the same thing. They have AK 74s or 47s, or whatever they have. They have assault rifles, they have boat, your magazine fed light machine guns, and they all have base RPGs. Like, what the hell, Eugen? Why can't you give at least one of them the RPG 7V? Why can't we make that more prevalent? Anyway, I don't know why I'm I'm getting caught in my rants, not doing things properly, but yes. Uh, MI-8T with Recon Infantry. I'm surprised it's not an MI-17. Maybe he's using them on other things. Uh, OT-64C. That's good. So that looks like more Vizicati. Uh, that's going to be... So, oh, what are they called? I just blanked on what the Czech Recon Infantry is called. And that's going to be Conqueror's M. And I got T-32, MI-17. That's going to be... Uh, why am I blank? I'm just blanking on all their names now. Wow. Um, it's the Recoil's Rifle Light Infantry Squad. Pram S Mortar, T7 Base, Steve 72s, yeah. Moderna, Viz, uh, Vidra 2, that's going to be, um, now I'm blanking on their infantry, their rifle infantry. Their line infantry, um, <sighs> Moto Strelchi, something like that. Oh, uh, T62A, that's going to be more Moto Strelchi by the looks of it. More Recon. That looks like it's going to be um, Speciani, and that's more of whoever. This could also be the recoil's rifle infantry, now that I think of it. <clears throat> I have to wait and see. Anyway, so two commands start from Malak 10, so that's going to give him the plus two immediately. Oh, Ose Cam coming out immediately as well. No, it looks like these guys are going to go down through here. Is he going to try and do a Charlie push? That could be interesting. Let's see if he needs to unload. There we go. I don't think those guys are going to drive face first into some BTR 80s. Yep, there's the Cardi there. Lake Pakota, that's what they're called. Oh my god. But no, actually, it's just, yeah, just Speciality, Denaki 90. I thought it would have been the Shock Recon. I must, yeah, I must have misread their veterancy. Oops. 
right. Uh, beat our 88s again. Yeah, wrecked. And that is not how you use the two-man sniper teams, or two-woman sniper teams in this case. Long J2 gets the helicopter. Alright. Yakshande. That's, yeah, the elite infantry. Oh, Choma. Oh, those guys are spotted. Oh, they're, they weren't even cover. Oh, dear. Let's have Vizcari there. Chomahos are caught out in the open. BTR 80's gone. Uh, where's the Moderna? There it is. It's wrecking the Yakyonde. Or Yakyonde? How is that? However that's pronounced. Uh, Chomahos are, should really drop back before the Moderna happens to them. Bruce Kamichi, that's what the shot, the check shock recon is called. Oh dear, can't believe I forgot that. Anyway, got more of Vizicati by the looks of it. Oh, 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 it's gonna get a hit, get a hit. Oh, side shot from a Maliutica. Nice. Why are they engaging? Okay, there you go. I'm like, why aren't they shooting with their guns? T-72 is just gonna die. Oh, looks like that's going around. Oh, it's Granada Mets in the OT-62As. Interesting. Does mean that he doesn't have any particularly cheap infantry. Like he has... Oh, these guys are... Yeah, 15 plus 5. That's 20 points. It's not horrible. Not a particularly good 5-point transport, but... Eh. You can actually do worse than that. Anyway, Granada Mets. Yeah. Oh no, doesn't matter, they're dead. Yeah, that's the unfortunate thing. Um, the If you really want the wheel, like especially in Eastern Rock, if you really want the wheeled moat shoots, then you go with the Polish ones because they can come in at 10 point transport. With Czechoslovakia, you only have 15 point wheeled transports. Which means they cost 30 points while the, you know. Uh, which we call Polish could get him for 25. I can do basic math. Don't mind me. I'm just out of it today, apparently. Up here comes the Fago Span. Oh, P72 gets a hit on the Chon Laho. Oh, Moderna's about to miss. Yeah, of course he misses. More Pong J2, because that's definitely what he needs to deal with all these infantry and tanks. Is some anti-air. Maybe he thinks it's an ADAX. Or maybe that's one that he already had and I just didn't notice. Anyway, oh, Moderna. Something blew up in front of it. Okay, yeah, that blew up next to it. I'm like, what exploded? That Shomaho is still alive somehow, though these Lake Epicoda are doing their best. So is this Moderna, evidently. Come on, just finish it off. 75% accuracy. Why should... Wow. I know the Moderna's gun is, like, accuracy and fire control is not great, but that's just excessive. Oh, SU-25K is drawing fire. It's probably going to die. Actually, what am I talking about? The Pong J2s so are horrible. <clears throat> oh my god, what? This Moderna! What's the unluckiest Moderna? Okay, from a hose is... Falling back. Oh, there we go. Now finally gets it. Oh boy. Uh, Jock die. Pushing these guys here. These are the mines. There's Jock up die. Ooh, Jock to one day. Jock to a day. The, the uh, reservists. Just pushing, but yeah, they're gonna get wrecked by Vid Zicardi and Lotus Relchi. Oh, and Granada Nets. T-72 is going to cut these guys out across the open. Actually, what is it? Is it shooting at these guys? Nope, shooting at those guys. <clears throat> he's, just, he's just dropping off ATGM teams in the open. Alright. Okay, he's gotten... Okay, sensor has gotten Bravo. Now question is, can he continue to push on to Charlie? Oh, now MI-17 is going to nope that out of existence. So long as it stays out, we're the Type 80s, but then again, Type 80s are horrible at killing things. They have no accuracy, they have no rate of fire. All they can all they can really do is just stun things. P72 
Prem S is smoking or is it mortaring? Yeah, it looks like yeah, it's going after the Pong J2. Oh, it's going after SU22. SU25K. Oh, there you go. Yeah, look at that. That's just sad. There, those guys got bombed to hell. Jokok Dyer getting shot at the hell. Two more Pong J2s. I guess him losing it them is just reinforcing the fact that he needs more of them. Nope, he does have command if retreat. I hope he puts him to hotel for the plus two. Meanwhile, Icon does have the plus three. He has Charlie and Foxtrot capped. Nothing to stop it. The command of tree is not going for a hotel. It appears to be heading to Alpha. Or it's sitting in the... I don't even know. I don't even know. How is it this T-22 is going after some Type 80s? Oh, it's a 25k. Gets the other one. Am I... Oh, that took took some damage. Oh. Ooh! Pong 2 got a hit. Oh. Oh, it's gonna get another, it's gonna get no. MD500D with the AGS-17, yeah, that's gonna help. Yeah, he's, he's oh god, is T-22 gonna get his command infantry? Oh my god, he's using the BTR-60PB instead of the BTR-60P. Oh, buddy. How are you doing, Censored? Because this is 15 points, the BTR 60P is 5 points. Oh, there you go, T72M is going to be useful. Yep, stabilization malfunction. I just want to know what Lactan's thinking about Alpha being capped instead of Hotel. He's probably thinking, oh damn, I could have got, I might have been able to intercept that CV with my T72 if it's in a better spot. That's 22 and 4 is bombing, is it? Is that targeted bombing or is it just firing position? Nah, it's firing position. Darn, if that had been targeted, that would have wrecked those BTRs if you had line of sight. That doesn't really matter, though, it's you are taking them apart. Your duck died. Yeah, I guess we get overwhelmed. Even bother moving into the forest. Let's <clears throat> drop two. Here we go. Str oh, what is that? It's a no okay, case command OT6 VZ VS OT64A. That really gives away what it is. Strop two. It's a. I want to like the strop two, but at sixty points with no stabilizers and only thirty-five percent accuracy, it's kind of eh. Like, it's not horrible, it's just kind of eh. Like, I can definitely appreciate the utility of it, but it's just... I know, the, that gun at 60 points is kind of expensive. But it does have no... like, it, it's not radar, so that's one of the advantages. You don't have to worry about seed micro, or radar micro. So, your mileage may vary, it's still a decent gun, you know. Yeah, it's, sure, it's only 35% actually, but with that rate of fire, it doesn't really matter. Couldn't tell you what the salvo length on it and reload is on it though. Haven't used it in forever. Oh hey, one of the Yok die. Jokude is still alive. Oh, not anymore. I also got one of the Modus Relchi. Oh hey! I actually did capture the, his two pointer, so now it's 0 0 for acquisition, but Lack 10 still has 322 points. To insert zero. And he's going to be capturing golf momentarily for the plus one. And I'll see, he could probably capture Bravo too. Oh, Shumaho CV. I wonder where that's going to go to die. Is Judgment Edwards heading right now? It might be going into golf. Maybe it is going to go. It's going to veer off into Bravo. 
because you know the roads the road network on this side of the map is just the worst on the delta side just the worst Yeah, no, it looks like he is putting it forever. Probably gonna drop it in there so it can die to some Vizikai. Or he's gonna put it there. You never know. I'm, 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 I'm sorry, I'm just being overly harsh. I'm censored right now. It's kind of, it's kind of just mean. Very mean spirited of me. That is a base shot on the hoe. Alright. That is a that is easy to call in the game. Oh, hey, make 23 BN. Oh, Shum Hose is gonna bite it. No, he's going after the T 72M. It's out of missiles. Oh, Palm Grade 2 is going. Oh, oh, nope, nope, they don't. Oh, and the North Korean MiG 29. Oh my. And yep, there comes a CV for Brother to give Blastic or Lactan the plus two. I hope he doesn't send those Shonmahos into forest unsupported. Alright, is he gonna leave him there? Please leave him there. There we go, he left him there. Oh, I got Pakoda taking pot shots at him. He's repositioning his OT-60 command. And my 8 is just flying in. Drawing fire from the Pongre 2s, I guess. Oh, yep, here comes the BN. MiG-29 ASF is gone. T-72 is just driving in and dying. Three. Double kill. I think the Vizicardi got one of them, though. I'm not sure. It is Vizicardi 90. So if it hits with the VR, it's going to kill him. One shot. And SU-27K just blasts like a Pong J2 or something. <coughs> anyway, Blastic's still it's now taking a plus two. He's at 361 to zero. SU-27K comes around and gets the Sean Maho. Okay. It's out of... Uh, no, it still has two missiles left, so if he wants to keep it on station. If he gets some, get some recon out, he might be able to get that other Pong J. However, I don't even know how it's pronounced. I just I always say Ponche. Oh, here comes the big 29. Uh, no. Oh, yeah, there you go. He's easy backing. It's gonna fly into the shop, too. That would be funny. Or an Osa. Isn't there an Osa kicking around? Yeah, there it is. <coughs> and it got little, goes down to something. I don't know if the Osa got it. Or the MiG 23 got it. Oh, look at MiG 23 ML. Maybe that got it. There's a couple things shooting at it. Strop 2 was shooting at it, but maybe that got it. Oh, looks like the Vizicar is just going to get overwhelmed by all the machine guns. Oh, Pong J2 is going after. Oh, SU 22 took a big hit. Ooh, Type 80 is going to finish it. Nope, no range, no range, but it's evacking. Oh, Modus Chelchi getting wrecked by some Type 80s, sort of. Give them some time, they'll do it. And well, yeah, T72 is going after. Him. Are those 20 points? 25 points? God damn, that's such a waste. Such a terrible deal. At least a 25 point no radar uh, Falcon, you know, the VADs. It has, you know, no range compared to the, the Type 80. Ooh! Critical hit from the Hong Kong, too. Nice. Oh, here comes the SU-22. Couple of 1,000 kilogram bombs. Oh, oh, they're off. No, that's a waste. Anyway, I was just saying, at least the VADS just doesn't have to deal with the reload. You know, it shoots, just load it Sunday and shoot it all week. A little bit silly. <clears throat> oh, Andre 2 goes down to the T-72. Well, Shochi are holding their own against overwhelming numbers of Yakuidae. And T-72 is just, yeah, gonna delete them. Rakan still has a plus 2, is at 435 to 0. SC-22 is back out again. If one is, doesn't really matter. Keep bombing these guys again, looks like it. Oh, 
went a little bit long, but still did a fair amount of damage. A pair of MiG-23 MLs waiting to gank any MiG-29s that make their appearance. Because uh, was it? Sensor would still have one. Oh, hey, now the T90S comes out. Bit late for that. That's just gonna get pounced by whatever those MiG-23 BMs. That MD that got shot down. Yeah. Wait, RCCM, is that 50%? Yes, it is. Sorry, I had to double check something. Actually, is it 3 or 4 HE? Yeah, it's 4 HE. I think the base R60 is 3 HE. I can't even remember now. Doesn't matter. Oh, here comes the SU-22 M4. Is it, 20, is it 10 or 20 ECM? 20% 20 ECM. It's not the greatest bomber, to be honest. It's kind of like a worse, um, whatchamacallit, F-16 Fighting Falcon. No, F -F. The one that like Norway gets, yeah, the F-16 that Norway gets with the two 1,000 kilogram bombs and 20 ECM. It's more expensive than that, though. Because it's faster. It has better turn rate. Oh, look, more Pong J2s. Also, Lassic or Lac-10 bombed the CBN hotel, so now he has plus four. Alright. Lac-10 was victorious with 501 conquest points, two censored, zero. Censored had 710 kills, Lac-10 had 1,970. Um, yeah. How do I want to break this down? Um, kind of the same as before in the previous match. Sensor got tra absolutely trashed in the opener. He did not have the infantry property support. He didn't really have bring the tools. He misused some of his units. Like, what the hell was he trying to do with the, the, the sniper teams there at the beginning? Um, yeah. What else is there to say? Not really a whole lot happened. It's just he got trash in the opener and then and then Lactan just pushed them up through Alpha. And just yeah. Just, and then just capped all the zones and won. This is I don't really know what else to say. A lot of airplane based shenanigans that didn't really do much. Well they did a fair bit. It's more like Sensor just had all those Pong J2s and they barely did anything because the Pong J2 is trash. I didn't even check to see if he upvetted them. I don't know if he upvetted them. Maybe if he upvetted them, he would have had better chances if he didn't. I don't know. I don't know, man. It's just. He's just. He fell, he fell for the air spam. I guess he just, he just spent all his points trying to stop the air the airplanes and. It didn't, it just didn't work because it's North Korea. North Korea has garbage. Has garbage ASFs and has garbage air defense and is just garbage. It's a garbage nation versus Czechoslovakia, which is like one of the best standalone nations. But his it's just no. I don't know what else to say. Um, before I, I yeah, it's just I, this is no nothing interesting happened in this battle in my opinion that I can really comment on. Is this barely any mortars were used either? Is this Oh, I feel fun. I feel feel bad for Sensor getting put up against Lactan. He should he should have gone up against someone more his speed. Like I don't even know who would have been a better matchup from the tournament. I don't know. Anyway, uh, before I before, before I just ramble on, I'll call it here before I say something mean spirited or even more mean spirited than I have already. Um, I'm Xander Tirana, and this was the first disposable deck tournament. This was the second round. I don't even recall if there's more games in the second round or if it just goes straight to the semifinals due to dropouts. Anyway, I'm, yeah, you guys have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next part. Take care.